Hello again, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. I don't remember in the last episode which mission I said I'd do, but I have closed the game since then, so it's entirely possible that it's gone. Which happens. Um, I'm pretty sure they get shuffled around uh, whenever you re-enter the game. So I've been having a look. There's a short one, and there's a medium one. And our goal is to get some more cash, some more provisions. Well, mostly cash, but some more of these um, <clears throat> heirlooms down here along the way. So I think we decided that we would probably take Sir Jairus and Dutch. Although, we want, we want to take Dutch. New Dutch, because uh, the... Well, he just hasn't been out for a while, mostly. We want to take Zeki to try and get at least one Vestal up to the point where we're happy to take them against these two. I was thinking of taking Sir Jairus, but... The problem with Sajiris here is it has to replace Dutch. And I'd rather have Dutch leveled up alongside Zeki than Sajiris, because Dutch will be coming, possibly be coming with us to one of these, especially the Sonorous Prophet, who, if you recall, sits at the back, which is exactly what Dutch is best at. Um, also, Magustas has a small amount of stress here. Not too much. I didn't want to take Mary on this mission necessarily because her stress is also not ideal. I guess we could put Mary in for some stress recovery. Everyone's in for stress recovery right now, including Ellie, which is, you know, pretty common actually. Ellie seems to be on the piss every other week. Uh, we're still having Brian up front. That seems okay. Uh, Viz won't go with the Vestal, and we tried having a uh, cultist down at this level, but they died immediately. That was the original Erasmus, if you remember. Maybe we should try leveling up Raikuda rather than Megistos. I mean, Megistos has a bit of stress, and Raikuda has basically, well, literally zero. But also, this seems to be working out. You know, this, this unit can hit... Maybe we should upgrade this unit a bit to get the... Uh, the... Just more, more... Yeah, Bellow, so that we can hit more targets. It's not that big a deal, it's just that it's a very support character at the moment. Maybe we won't level up Megistos, and no offence to Megistos, it's not his fault, except to some extent it is. Uh, we will take maybe Dark Trojan, he has not got any XP at all. <clears throat> Raikuda could do with some. What can you hit? You can hit the back with Duelist Advance. And Brian can work from either the front two. So, in fact, it seems like Raikuda, uh, uh, any highwayman, but specifically Raikuda in this instance, with uh, something like a leper or even a crusader in that position, can dance around a lot and not actually ruin anybody's day. Well, that seems really good. Um, <clears throat> the leper's already specced out there. Is there anything we wanted to do in town before we went? This is a short mission, and it's going to be to the ruins. So... Having some DPS that can hit the back is actually quite useful indeed. So let's uh, let's get trinkets. Of course, this is going to remove Brian's trinkets. It would be great if uh, Darkest Dungeon could implement a patch similar to what XCOM 2 has from what I've been watching. Whereby it only pulls back the trinkets from people who are not currently on the mission. That would be very useful indeed. Less max HP on the Vestal is fine. 10% is uh, quite a lot, but... Hopefully she won't be getting attacked a huge amount. Move still, move skill chance is not necessarily that useful. We've got a sniper shot on the mark that goes with it. That's a 20 dodge reduction as well, which is stupidly good. Don't necessarily need battlefield bandage, but it's nice to have a, a, a sort of a backup. Maybe to heal the Vestal while the Vestal's healing somebody else. Uh, and this clears stuns and marks. So... It's kind of good and bad. We have marks for a reason. We don't need the move assist because it's the bowler that has the knockback and we're not taking that. Uh, so let's go with something like this sniper's ring, wherever that's gone. Sort by rarity? Ooh. Ooh. Very rare. Yeah. More accuracy in position 4. It would be good if there was a more damage in position 4. But I do not think that there is. That could be good. 8 speed and 5 crit. Gives you the opportunity to get off a sniper shot on the first round. Which could be valuable. But at the same time, I kind of want you to do the mark on the first round. Oh, do I? 
Because you'll go last, at, basically, on all the other rounds, which is not that great. More accuracy on ranged skills is probably even better. Deathblow resist could save you. We've got humans. I mean, there are some beasts in there, but it's mostly humans and some eldritch. If we do this, if you remember the collector was an eldritch uh, baddie. So, it seems valuable that... I keep saying valuable. I should probably get a thesaurus out. Or just leave me some suggestions in the comments below or on Twitter to tell me what I should be saying instead of valuable. It'd be extremely fortuitous, it'd be worthwhile. Having high damage with Dutch against the thing at the back. Um, if we happen to come across that, uh, that collector again, because that was really bad. Rain skills. I want accuracy on rain skills, really. Less stun resist is not great. More dodge, more speed, less accuracy. That's basically for... Uh, I guess we can have some more trap disarm. I think that's for the melee ones. If they haven't got any rain skills, then it doesn't matter. Although, one, two, three, four. Four of the seven are rain skills, so that's always going to be a... A disbenefit to them at some stage of the game. So everyone's got their trinkets. Yes. Let's go. We've been waffling on long enough. Where are we going? It's a short mission, so we'll take... I think we'll just take one stack of each. We could get unlucky. I recognise this. Uh, I'll take a couple of keys. An I and a G. Um... The medicinal orbs are probably pretty good. Yeah. We don't want to spend too much because we're not taking the antiquarian. So if we don't take the antiquarian, we don't get as much money back because we're not going to be selling the antiques and we're not going to be stacking the gold a bit higher. But also we want to be able to open heirloom containers, curios, that sort of thing. And having the extra medicinal orbs is not useless. Trap. Boring. Curio. Room battle with treasure. Don't touch it. Good. I like... I think I mentioned this yesterday. I like low-level... Um, <laughs> I like low-level journeys because they haven't got enough quirks yet that make them open shit while you're walking around. The one, the quirks that you don't particularly want to get rid of... Uh, okay, this is bad. You don't want to pay to have them removed, but you probably kind of should because they keep making it worse. Although... In the past, those quirks that make them interact with curios. Why are you entirely getting a go? How is Dutch not getting the best go ever right now? We gave him the fucking... Oh, we didn't. Oh, that'd be why. It, it's not uncommon that the uh, curio they interact with... Oh, repost. Yes, I love it. Uh, it turns out to be... Oh, fucking hell. One that gives them a quirk that removes the quirk that caused them to use the curio in the first place. Let us stun this unit. If possible, please. No, nope, not possible. Okay, I'll deal with that, I guess. Four to nine. So that's not enough. Could crit, but I doubt it. So we basically want to kill this one. Although, uh, that was a misplay, and I'll tell you why. I've just realised that Dutch is basically the only unit that can hit the back. That's fine. Well, that was a long push, actually. Can you advance? You can. So just finish that off for me. Plus the fact that I just killed it. Dutch is the only one that can shoot here. I should have given him a strong advantage, you know, against... I wanted him to kill on that turn. Because it's going to get another go soon. We're really slow, apparently, which is... Worrisome. 20. Well, when it hits, it hits. Which sounds tautologous, but... I mean, it is, but it's it's repetition for emphasis, which does have a name. But I can't rem remember what the name is, and I can't really speak English. So I should probably slow down my... Uh... Oh, you can hit the back with this. Oh, sweet. Executed with impunity. Excellent. Yes. The Riposta's minus 66% damage. Which is a, a minus a lot. Yeah, there's a name for when you repeat something. 
for emphasis. Saying it is what it is, for example. Or, you know, when he hits, he hits. Uh, it doesn't matter who opens it, I suppose. Hidden compartment contains. Dun dun dun. Deeds. Okay, we haven't got too many of those, so it's, it's nice to have picked some up. Where are we going, anyway? What are we doing? Exploring 90% of the rooms, so we can just go around a loop here. Can avoid one of these two battles if you want and not do that room at all. Uh, you should go back so that you can advance and set up repost on the next attack. Which is not for some time. Laden with loot are often low on supplies. They are often low on supplies. But the loot kind of is the supplies. So kind of missing the point I think is what I'm saying. These are all empty. Hoping to get more stuff. Just checking that our torch is ready before we walked into that fire, which is why I stopped. And the surprise is probably going to help us a great deal. Um, do we advance on the thing at the back? I think yes. That's basically the grave robber move, except it doesn't crit all the time, which is shame. Everyone heal a little bit, get up to full health apart from you, because you don't deserve it apparently. Just shoot him. Who cares? Don't set up the mark, just kill that bastard. What have we got here? Less damage, less accuracy. It could be good to debuff this thing. But it could be better to just not let it have a go. Do we have a stun? We've got a knockback. Okay, so... I think we will try this. It's kind of a... Imperfect play. Oh, brilliant. At least one miss and the dodge still got a riposte, which is really good. It's an imperfect play because that thing actually hits the front two units, but this is the front two units, so what the hell ever. Have you got um low bleed resist? I don't know if that's because you're a leper or if that's just because you're low level. Doesn't matter too much. Point blank shot for the first time. Does it do a knockback? Yes. Do we want it to? Good question. Dodge. Ah, it's okay. We resisted the worst part of that, which is fine. This is actually good. Now Dutch can shoot this thing and do quite a lot of damage. Chop this. Dodged it. That's okay. It's quite low accuracy. I think uh, with the leper, we should think about having... Like, this is okay if it hits. But this does a lot of damage anyway. This uh, attack, I mean. Try and stun this. Not get a go. This attack does a lot of damage when it hits. So, what we really want to do is increase accuracy on melee skills, and we do have a trinket that does that, so we should really be using it, I think. Perfect, thank you. No more goes for you. We'll heal you, don't worry. Honestly, I don't want to... attack. <laughs> Strange as it may seem, I would like Zeke to actually do a full heal on Brian here, for a crit of 16, so that's... I'm glad I took the term. Term? Turn. <laughs> Even though cause that to attack Rakuda, but you know, two damage and a riposte, probably actually <laughs> better than it could have been. Uh, we can't do much here, so maybe we just do that. And then on the next turn, we can definitely kill it, so. Oh, apart from the fact it's going to have a go. Whatever. You can move if you want. That's okay. You can move if you want to. You can run back to the back. Got lots of bandages. Creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So we can probably remove bleeds if we'd like to. Oh, Raikuda. For goodness sake. Oh. Well, could have been worse. But I'm not pleased. We know there's nothing in here. Don't necessarily need to use a torch. Scouting. No. Well, we're going here anyway. It's, you know, it makes no odds. The only thing scouting would really give us in that situation is, um, yes. Well, scouting in that situation would only tell us about traps. To the Disease the that could be good in the like. wield. Oh, hello. And we could have prepared for attacks, but luckily it happened just before the light went down. So we'll advance on you, Bone Arbalist. Arbalist. Less damage, less accuracy. Probably not worth it. 80% hit is actually pretty, pretty bad. But we did hit, so 
I can't complain. I don't think we need to heal. I think what we do is we... Before I do this, yes, you can. We stun this one. If possible. And then with Dutch, we shoot that one. Oh, it's one point away. Two points away. Okay, so that wasn't ideal. Obviously, I wanted that one to die so that that one didn't get a go and then we just had a free turn, but it's not how it works out. Uh, we can't bleed it, but we can do damage. 6 to 11 damage, even though it's a bleed attack, so do remember that. Definitely keep that in mind, that Open Vein does a decent amount of damage, as well as a bleed. It's like the... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like the, um, the Hellion's equivalent open vein if it bleeds attack. Um, I guess we heal ourselves. Just keep ourselves away from death, death I suppose. Having a, a bleed attack that also does a, quite a lot of damage as well. It's going to help out a lot. More stuff. Really nice. Thank you very much. Everyone in position. Everything in its right place. Everything. Don't get content matched. Con constant. Don't get constant matched. Stop saying constant. Don't get consonant matched. You know. I'm pretty sure the letter D is copyrighted. Um, what do we do here? Knock back. Intimidate. I mean, I think this may have worked well for us. When we did it last time, there was one miss amongst the rain of whips that we got. I think we try and get some torch for free here. Maybe stun this joker? What's this on? Three rounds. I mean, it does damage as well, so maybe we just keep applying the damage to the one unit. Apart from in this case, where we want to mark it. I'm learning. Uh, Dutch can hit the back. Raikuda can hit the back with advance, but not with open vein. So I think maybe we advance on this unit. Activate repost When that does its reign of whips. And here's another repost waiting to happen. There we go. Ah, debuff's bad. Less dodge, not great. Ah, I'll be okay. There is a bleed, but we have bandages. It didn't do Reign of Whips. Okie dokie. Bit of stress is fine. We've actually healed more than that so far. And we resisted the second bleed. Three points of damage. Not too worried about it. Well, <laughs> every time we set up a mark for Dutch to beat the shit out of something, it goes horribly, horribly wrong. So we can keep opening vain. Thus, 11 damage plus a bleed of 2 per round, which means you have got still quite a while to live. That's okay. Plus the riposte damage. Let's get a proper heal on this quick. There we go. And then at any point, we can just use point blank shot, step backwards a bit. But we really don't need to. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. What is this? A move charm. More move resist. That could be good. No, I don't want to move you. At least they don't resist me trying to move them. Scouting. Nothing. Brilliant. Proper brilliant. It needs a bit of healing going on, so before too long we should... Oh, brilliant. I can torch. <laughs> before too long, we're going to be requesting Zeke's assistance in that respect. I think this mission is going fine. It is a low-level mission, but, you know, we can still expect horrible time, horrible times. But I've noticed that uh, low-level missions, they tend to go okay. Which is, I suppose it's why it seems like people are good at the game when you first start watching. Because it's so much less likely that, so much more or less likely that things actually go wrong. Do we do this? No. We probably don't want Zeke who currently has no real negative quirks to suddenly gain one when we're trying to level him up, her up, I don't know. Zeke is a bloke, but that's a chick. And other such dismissive words. There's an obstacle there, Curio there, and both there. Let's go this way. Um, we don't want our leveled up healer to suddenly find themselves extremely interested in things that cause them to damage themselves. On the way to the boss, that would be uh, that'd be bad. So we're done here. There's no more fights. We could get another fight if we wanted to. 
But I think we just returned to the hamlet with the amount of the middling to low amount of stress that we got from that. That was a really successful mission. Half tempted to do another one just to pad the episode out, but I think I'll uh, I think I'll not because I know that the levels are, the the episodes are getting quite long recently. Ooh, that could be bad. We might need to get rid of it. That's pretty good. So we would definitely want to keep it. I know that some, we've had some long episodes recently doing medium high level missions, which tend to take a long time because all the enemies take longer to kill, basically. I've got 12,000, which is great. So I think we'll, um, roster is full. We'll spend some time in our, what was it, level one Hellion. Honestly, I was going to get rid of Brian because I didn't know what to do. But now I'm thinking about it. I kind of don't want to. My Brian's pretty good. I can't get rid of Holmes or Ziki. Because having two vessels at this level is now extremely valuable. But I expect someone will at some point die. But we need to keep in mind that we're going to get level 1 things here. We can even upgrade that to level 2 at some point. Yeah. Maybe we can... I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything that we actually want to upgrade. Um, mostly we need deeds. Although, the more we go out, the more we get crests, and the more we can exchange them. Uh, I just did that. I want to look at the guild. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time here, because we I tend to do this off-camera, or sort of breeze through it. Maybe we should put some uh, money in our units. Now that uh, Zeki is level 1, in fact, we should sort by level here. Zeki is nearly level, like, the highest level 1 we have as well, which is great. Uh, the warrior nun channels her zeal for battle into healing abilities, holy judgments, dazzling explosions of light. That's going to hold her own in the front with a powerful mace. On the front, like. I'm finding all the typos. So we'll uh, increase our healing skills here, which is going to be Zeke's focus. Um, these... This is not much use. The stun has been valuable, but I don't know necessarily whether it's going to be... You know, the extra 10% could turn out to make a difference at some point, but... It's only 150, actually. Maybe we should do it. And we don't really use that. It's only a little bit of damage for when we've got nothing else to do. But in those cases, we tend to just use Dazzling Light anyway. It's only because they can hit different units that we even make that distinction. Uh, no, don't, don't back out. Let's keep going. Dutch. New Dutch, you get this. And I suppose this... It will improve the debuff on the sniper's mark, which may actually have helped. Um, I, it hadn't occurred to me, but there was a debuff that goes along with the sniper's mark. I keep closing that. Stop fucking closing that. Which, you know, it, it, it reduces the dodge on an enemy that we, we... And the enemy we were putting it on was the Bone Courtier, which was the one that was doing all the stress damage. And reducing its dodge may have actually made a huge difference. We want lunge. We want Shadow Fane. I don't really want Poison Darts necessarily. Uh, Brian, you probably deserve an upgrade on Chop. Doesn't increase your accuracy, but that's fine. The Stress Heal, I just use it to almost pass a turn. I don't use it that much. But this, with a better debuff, will do. And I'm actually going to go to the Blacksmith now and upgrade the same people. With better armor. I'm especially going to upgrade Zeki with better armor. This is not too valuable, I think. That's not necessary. I keep catching myself saying valuable. Valuable, valuable, valuable. Stop it. Dutch, you get both. We don't want to go too far, but since everyone's done, you know, really... Oh, that's expensive. Everyone's done really well. Everyone can probably go out on another mission without over-leveling. So I think on the next episode, we will do exactly that. I'm about... Basically, I'm about to set off on a brand new mission. Uh, with the same party but it might have to be in the cove but until then thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are enjoying the series and you want to see the rest of it don't forget to share it with your friends if you're enjoying the series and want to see the rest of it and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below or on twitter or on google plus if you'd like to be named in the series after the next person dies but until the next episode thanks for watching and i'll see you then